Nice big breath in through the nose, all the way down to the belly. So when we work big muscles and big muscle groups, we stimulate the brain. We can strengthen our habits and our thoughts as much through working with the body as we can just by hoping and wishing we want to change some of the things in our brain. Next one, go ahead and plank. You can make it easier if you want or if you want to increase the challenge because that last repetition wasn't hard enough for you. Keep that breath flowing. Full body exercises today and rest again. You can always go all the way back to child's pose if you want to. And plank again. If you're on your hands, make those elbows soft. Don't lock them out. Make sure your hips aren't sagging. Draw them up. I would rather see your hips a little bit high as compared to sagging and rest. Forehead on the back of your right hand, left arm overhead, squeeze the right side of your bottom, lift your right leg and lift your left arm. And just breathe. You can keep that forehead resting down on the floor. Think about reaching forward into the hand backwards down to the foot. And rest, we're switch. Forehead goes on the back of the left hand. Right arm reaches overhead a little bit into a Y. Squeeze the left side of your bottom. Lift that whole left leg and the right leg. Think about making yourself long, your body long, parallel to the floor, reaching into the hand and the foot. and rest squat and press so grab your weight whatever weight you want to do there's a couple different ways you can use the weight you can just hold the weight right in front of you hold it like this and go up and down just to add a little extra weight to your squat you might want to do that if you have any shoulder pain you can take the weight onto your shoulder so that as you stand up you press up you can do it without any weight at all. Whatever is the right amount of effort for you. Engage that lower belly and go. Stand up, press up, or just hold that weight. When you come to sit, control it down. Maybe go up a little bit faster, then you go down. Use that seat as your target. and rest. You can switch the weight. You can drop the weight, you can do, and go again. Stand up, press up. Maybe coordinating it with your breath. Maybe inhale on the stand up, exhale on the sit down, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that air is flowing in and out. rest. Grab your strap. It's going on your thighs so that your knees are hip width distance apart as you come to this position and put the block in between the knees, the thighs. Also kind of caught up in that strap, tighten it down. Now I said keep the weight. So if you want to use a weight to give a little bit more resistance to bridge pose, it just rests on your hips. You can set that weight right down on your hips. Cat cow here. And prepare yourself. Push into those heels. Flatten your back. Push into the upper arm, shoulder blades, lift the hips.
squeeze your bottom. Get as much lift as you can. We're just going to hold this position. I like isometric. And rest. So we're going to add a little bit more muscle contraction with this next one. And go. Lift the hips. Push into the upper arms. Try to draw that tailbone down towards your heels. Now pull out into the strap. Engage the sides of the hips. More fibers of that gluteus maximus. And rest. So again, big muscles, gluteus maximus. You're also working your core, you're working your back. Use those arms and lift again. Press into the heels. As you press into the heels, you activate the thighs. Now you want to squeeze the block. Press into the heels, squeeze the block between the thighs, squeeze the bottom to lift the hips. And rest. So as you move forward from this practice, Now noticing the worry, noticing the regret, noticing those emotions. Using the movement of your body to go beyond that stuck position. Old habits are definitely hard to break, but they can be broken. You can change your habit of thought, releasing that worry, releasing that regret over and over again. Until one day you notice, huh, I haven't worried about that in a while. You can have a similar experience with your pain. Your habits of thought may also be triggering, triggering your pain. So you might notice one day, hmm, I haven't had that pain in a while. Just allowing yourself to settle just a little bit more. Maybe your breathing slows a little bit more. Inhaling the palms away from the body. Exhaling palms together, thumbs to the heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.